Hi friends, welcome you all to Deep Matrix. In today's video, we are going to construct the serious negative clipper circuit in MATLAB. So for that, I'm going to use uh, SimPower systems. Inside that, you can find the fundamental blocks where you can get electrical sources, elements, and other power electronic elements, etc. So first of all, I need a AC voltage source. Then I need a diode. So in power electronics, you can find the diode. So I'm going to connect my AC voltage to the diode. So the another end of the diode is connected to the resistance. So in elements, you find a serious RLC branch. Double tap on it. So I'm going to convert this branch type to resistance. So here is my resistance. So this is my connection. So I'm going to connect this circuit to the ground. So if you don't connect this ground, it will give an error. Next, I need a voltage measurement in order to find the voltage across the resistor. So it contains two, two sides, positive and negative. I'm connecting this positive side to the positive side of the res resistor. So negative side to the negative side of the resistor. I'm giving this output to the scope. So we need another voltage measurement. So I'm going to connect this voltage measurement across my input. That is my AC voltage. So the output of this is connected to the scope. So next I'm going to change this forward voltage to 1. So AC voltage peak amplitude to 10. So this is our connection. Next I am going to run this. So I got an error, wait. Yeah. So while running this, you need a, another block called power GUI block. So without that, it, the circuit won't run. So here is my power GUI block. So double tap on this. So the simulation type I'm going to do is discrete. Why discrete is it can solve it very easily and it is very fast. So I'm going to run this. So we are going to visualize the output. So One sec. So here you can see the frequency is 60. I'm going to change it to 1 in order for the better visualization. Or if you have more frequency, the waves will overlap on one another so that I get the band like output. So now you can see this blue color uh, signal is my AC input. So on the yellow one is the clipped output. So here you can see the negative cycle is clipped because I have placed this diode in this position. If I rotate the diode and placed in opposite direction, the negative half cycle will be shown and positive half cycle will be clipped. So here you can see the output AC voltage is 9 amplitude 9 volt because this is because the diode voltage is 1. So the input AC voltage is amplitude is 10. So 10 minus 1, the balance is 9. So since it is not a ideal diode, this is how we get the output. So this is what I want to explain to you in this video. So do subscribe our channel and enjoy learning. Thank you.